Hello there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a lace Photoshop brush and a couple of layer styles. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with a 1920 by 1080 blank PSD document. Make sure that your background is completely white and uh, you have your default colors here. So go ahead and click on this. So you're gonna have black on top, white on the bottom. Before we start, I'm just gonna go ahead and find the center of my document. So I'm gonna use my rulers here. If you don't see this right here, Command R or Control R on the PC and that's gonna to toggle that on or off. And then we're just gonna come up and drag down a line. So we'll kinda of go slowly right here until you feel that or see that snap into place. That's gonna be the center of your document there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So a little bit slowly until you get to that center point. So we're just gonna use this as a reference. We'll zoom in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and start with making the base of our lace brush. So we're gonna come over to the shapes and I'm gonna choose this polygon tool. And when you see the little crosshair right there, you can just come to the center right here and just click. That's gonna bring up this create polygon dialog box. And we're gonna change our width to 600 pixels and our height to 600 pixels. We're gonna leave it at 16 sides for this one. Make sure that smooth corners is checked off, star is checked off. We're gonna indent our sides by 10% and make sure that smooth indents is also checked off and we're gonna click okay. Letter V on the keyboard just to grab that and we're gonna move it in place here. So I just wanna make sure that it's in the center of my document. So we have something that looks kinda of like a badge at this point. We're gonna come back over here to the Shapes tool and this time I'm gonna choose the Ellipse tool. I'm gonna to come back to that center and just click right here in the center. For this one, uh, we want this to be 450 pixels wide by 450 pixels height. Make sure to click on From Center and then click OK. We just created another shape. You can't see it because it's black, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, change the color of that just so that you can see it. So with this ellipse that we have here, this, uh, this top shape, I'm gonna press Command or Control on the PC. When you see that little square, you'll go ahead and click to make a selection. Now we'll come over to the brushes and we're I'm gonna choose a brush from Legacy Brushes, Default Brushes, and it's this hard round brush. So we'll go ahead and choose that and then come into the brush settings. If you don't see brush settings here, you can come over to Window and it will be there. For the brush settings, uh, we're gonna change the size of the brush to 50 pixels and we're gonna change the spacing to 150%. And that's pretty much it. We're not gonna do anything else with that brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer here. And then we're gonna come into paths right here. If you don't see that, again, you can come up to window and paths and it should be there. Choose this right here to create a work path from the selection. And you can see how that turned blue. I'm gonna press the letter X on my keyboard to switch these colors. I want my next stroke to be white. I'm gonna press the letter P on my keyboard, P for pen, and then just hover over this blue line, right click, fill stroke. When this dialog box comes up, make sure that brush is the tool selected and that simulate pressure is not checked. And go ahead and click OK. So now I'm gonna delete that ellipse and I'm gonna add another shape here so it's going to be another ellipse so make sure you're in the ellipse tool we're going to click on that center mark again this time we want the size to be 300 pixels by 300 pixels make sure that from center is checked off and click create and again change that color to white so that you can see it and we're gonna make a selection from this command or control on the PC and click to make a selection of that shape. And then we'll come back in to the paths and click this button again. That's gonna make a work path from that selection. You can see how it turned blue there. So we do have a work path. I'm gonna add a new layer 
and I'm gonna actually go back into my brush. So I just pressed the letter B on the keyboard to get to my brush. You can see the brush size right now is 50 pixels. I'm gonna bring that down with the left bracket on my keyboard to about 20 pixels. So we'll have something pretty small. Letter P on my keyboard to get to my pen tool. Hover over that blue line, right click, and then stroke path. Again, brush, make sure that simulate pressure is unchecked and click OK. So now we have another set of circles. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And this is gonna be our finished lace pattern. You can get a lot more intricate with this, adding more detail in here, maybe detail in the center. For us, uh, we're gonna keep it pretty simple and just keep it here. I'm gonna come up to the edit menu at the top of the screen and then down to define brush preset. I'm gonna call this base lace and click okay. Okay, now that I have that created, what I'm gonna do is um, just group these and turn it off. And I'm gonna come to my brush settings, letter B on the keyboard to activate that. It's gonna have the last brush that we created um, in here, so you'll be able to see that that's the, the last brush that we created. Now, if you don't have this on the side, again, uh, it's gonna be right here, brush settings inside of window. All right, for the brush settings here, we're gonna change the size to 50 pixels and our spacing we're gonna change to 65%. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, check off texture. So if you're in 2020, it's gonna be legacy patterns and more. For, any, for everyone else, it's gonna be legacy patterns. So from, from this group right here, legacy patterns, we're gonna choose patterns. And then we're gonna choose this second one right here. This is called woven flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And our settings for this are gonna be scale to 5%. Our brightness is negative 33. Contrast negative 25. Make sure that texture each tip is selected. Our mode is subtract. Our depth is gonna be 50%. And our depth jitter is also gonna be 50%. And then go ahead and make sure that smoothing is checked off and everything should be okay. We're gonna go ahead and save that brush right here. So click on the little hamburger menu, press new brush preset and name the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer so we can take a look at our brush. I'm gonna make this black again and we'll just kinda go through and see what that looks like we can go ahead and come in and create a layer style. So I'm gonna use this sample right here and double click here on the far right side of the canvas. And I'm gonna move this over so we can see what's going on here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna work on here is a bevel and emboss. Settings for our bevel and emboss are gonna be inner bevel. Our technique is smooth. Our depth is gonna be 200%. We want our direction to be down. Our size is gonna be one pixel. We're gonna soften zero. Our angle is gonna be 120 degrees, altitude 30. And we're using just a basic linear gloss contour. Our highlight mode is screen. We're using basic white. Opacity, 75%. Shadow mode is multiply. We're using basic black at 75% there as well. All right, next go ahead and check off texture. For the texture, we're gonna be using another pattern from the legacy patterns. So if you come into legacy patterns and then go down to patterns, we're gonna be using this one right here. It's called wrinkles. If you don't see these, if you're in an older version of Photoshop, you can find those and load those here. So you would you know, see all of this stuff right here, pattern, pattern two. We just go ahead and click on that. For Photoshop 2020, um, you'll actually have to come in here and open up your patterns menu to upload those. So we're using this one right here. It's called wrinkles. And we're gonna scale this to 30%. 
and our depth is going to be 30% uh, as well. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add a drop shadow. For our drop shadow, we're going to use a blend mode of multiply and our our color here is basic black, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 for that, our opacity 46%. Our distance is 9 pixels, our size is 12 pixels, and everything else is fine. So once you have that, you can click on new layer style name that layer style. This is going to be for dark lace. Make sure to check out the description of this video for the download link to the lace brush that we created in this video, the layer style, and then also another layer style for light colored lace. Also make sure to check back on this channel on Thursday for a bonus video where I'll be using the lace assets we created in this video to create a graphic design composition. This is going to be a simple graphic design tutorial, but it'll show you how you can incorporate elements in a photo into a larger graphic design piece. I did something similar to this last week where we were designing with pearls. So if you're interested in graphic design layout and composition, make sure to watch those videos as well. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.